just a quick example on how these poles are supposed to go. This is one of the end arcs. I got two of them put together already over here. So this is one of the end arcs and it connects here up top with the other one that's labeled end arc. And then I'm going to take these pieces, two of these pieces, and set them on the end with the inserts here. Going into the pose on each side, and they're gonna look like this once we're done. In the end arcs at the top, we have the eye bolts here at the top to connect with the cage. The net. Okay, as you can see, I've already kind of my cage that may shift because the netting is pretty huge it's pretty much sprawled all over my backyard got roughly about 11 to 12 thousand square feet back here I main wall total so it takes up quite a bit I already have my poles together but what I realized is in order to get them in the holes in the velcro and the net going across, I'm going to have to take all these apart and slide them in and then put them back together. So um, yeah, don't make the same mistake I made. But either way, uh, whichever way works because I mean there's a possibility that the way these poles are set up I could slide them in the way they are, it's just going to be more difficult. So I'm just going to take them apart, not completely, but mostly apart. I'm going to take the, the long legs off extensions off and just work with the arcs inside and then put the long legs back in so I'll be back with the finished product okay we're doing trial and error on what's the best way to do this so we started with just the arc sliding it in and so now what my son is gonna do go ahead and put it in there the little side where the bottom leg is supposed to come out I'm just gonna take this pole and slide it in all the way up and then make the connection here and then go ahead and seal the deal. Um, it may work better, truthfully, with everything connected and it's just sliding through slowly like we've been doing. But um, like I said, it's trial and error. It could be a number of different ways of doing it, just making sure you don't rip the netting. So uh, this worked fairly well. However, um, doing it with the full legs on may work better we'll see but just wanted to show this part of the video too just so folks can see what it looks like trying to put this thing together okay so we now have all of the arcs inside of each sleeve it's my helper right there have all the arcs inside of each sleeve uh, with the eye bolts facing out of the velcro on each part so one of the things that we discovered that made it easier for us was we disconnected the arc right at the center here at the top and we put one side in first and then put the other side in and then reconnect it here at the center that made it a little bit easier so hopefully that'll help out this is coming along Doing a little bit at a time. Since all of the arcs were laying in this direction, what we did was we started on that end, far end, put in the straps to pull that way, since all the weight was pulling this way. And that make it easier for us to get from one leg to the next, coming all the way down. So both of my sons, my other two sons, I got three helping me. Of course, as you can see over there in that corner, we had to try to miss the house as much as possible. So we're gonna adjust this last one. And eventually we're probably just gonna move it to the other side. But either way, what we did was we went ahead and put the ropes in up top first before we raised it up. Uh, Cause we figured that that was gonna work easier for us. 
and then the, the support ropes on the side here to go from one net to the next. We're gonna put those in last once we finish putting the stake up on this one. And then I think we'll be good to go. So we're almost there, we almost have a finished product. Appreciate you. All right, on them, my man. We're set. Got all the straps in here. Got all the cords in. We have a full batting cage on the side of the house. Of course, being in Texas, and strong winds, whatever, because all of the weight is still on this side. Most likely when we have to take it down or collapse it whenever we choose to do that, we'll start on that end and come this way. Just depends, since we have all the pool on one side, we can pick and choose what we wanna do. But this is a full set right here. All right, thanks for the instructions. We got everything situated. Now we're ready to play ball.